It can't be. Those horrible monsters are... They're all gone. Every last one of them. I saw everything from the house where I was hiding. Which house? This lone warrior type showed up out of nowhere and took out every monster in the village all by himself. I knew it! Sure, you look like a strong breeze could blow you over, but you are solid as stone. Knew it the moment I saw you. Thank you. We could do nothing but watch while monsters overran our village. If you hadn't shown up, our home might have been damaged beyond repair. We owe you a great debt. Thank you. The good news is not all the houses have been destroyed. If we all work together, I'm sure we can rebuild. Don't you worry, I'll fix up all the houses the monsters destroyed. This kid's act of chivalry has lit a fire under me. I'm ready to get to work, baby. Bolson, you're only a visitor, and yet... What can I say but thank you? I'm sorry, but I don't have anything I can give you as a reward. Not with our village in shambles. Of course, once the village is rebuilt, we'll be sure to show you just how warm our hospitality can be. We have to rebuild this village, don't we? Oh. Now listen everyone, Lurland Village has been given a chance at a fresh start. If we do all our if we all do our part, I know we can bring this baby back from the brink. Oh boy. Time to get busy, huh? We're gonna bring this village back to the way it was. So now it's time to get to work, but how are we going to do that? Do we need to give them rupees? We have to do something about the state of the village or no one will return home. I might not look it, but I know a thing or two about construction. Besides, I owe you. No, I owe this whole village for taking me in. And I pay my debts. It's kind of my thing. Also, this village has charm. I can't wait to restore the restaurant and the lucky treasure shop to their former glory. All they need is some logs and Hylian rice. So he needs 15 logs and 20 bundles of Hylian rice. I'm sure he can do that. I'm going to call this project the Great Lurlin Village Revival. Our first collaboration. How exciting is that? I do miss that one quest that was called I Wonder What's For Dinner. Alright, so if we're going to do that... Oh, Poppy! <laughs> A random puppy just showed up. Uh, Hylian Rice... All right, I think I need, uh, oh. Wait, do I need 15 more? What? Oh, logs. Wait, how am I going to get logs? Huh? Where the hell am I going to get logs? I have wood. Yeah, what? I need 15 more. Do I need to actually bring logs? Oh, we need logs from other kinds of trees. Oh, you have g you have got to be kidding me. I have to actually bring logs here? Oh my god, are you serious? It looks like I'm going to have to go outside of the village to collect logs. And bring them here. We have to take logs from... Not palm trees. Oh boy. So there's my car. Um, I'm gonna have to get rid of this. Alright, you wanna see how it runs? It's a little bit slow on this hill. Oh, God. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it, man. 
I believe in you. <laughs> yeah, I thought about this myself, and it's the craziest shit. Okay, so... I thought about this crazy idea. I'm gonna get rid of these. Just because I don't want them burning. What he says he wants us to do, I think, is collect... Oh. Oh, come on. Did I really just fall for that? I thought it was just laying around somewhere. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, you know what? You deserve that. I wanted to cut down that tree and you... It was a fake? Also, I roasted some bananas. You mean to tell me that was a fake? Oh, my... F <coughs> oh, my fucking God. What an idiot. Okay, uh, fuck that tree anyways. I'll just go find another one. Ain't no way you're telling me that that tree was a fake. Actually, I just realized there's a stable in this area. I almost forgot about this one. It's probably gonna have to go through some mysteries in this, uh this waterfall area. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, it's those animals, aren't they? It's the animals that I saw in the Hyrule Compendium. Here, let me go talk to Beetle for a second. I, I'm looking for some fireflies. You don't have any fireflies. I think it's specifically at that one stable that I need to buy them. He's not up there. At her direction, we opened a sanctuary for a new animal species. It's right across the ravine from here. Ordinary visitors can't easily reach it, but with a telescope or the like, you might be able to snatch a glimpse. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. They made up a new species in the Zelda history. All right, let's go and uh, pick up our award. We still have yet to get all the pony points. We get an extravagant saddle and the bridle. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that's cool. It's got like feathers up it. So four more points, and we get one additional horse. Okay. Uh, okay. Maybe I can make that stuff while I'm at the stables. There is some food that I need to go make to upgrade my horse. And I have yet to find the recipes. I'm just gonna go get this shrine out of the way. Joju ooh ooh ooh. <laughs> Joju ooh 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 boogie ooh shrine. <laughs> and I bet you the light root that's underneath it is gonna be ooh 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 joju jo. Building bridges. Well, you know what? Um, I have an even better idea. Actually, I don't know if it's going to be, like, high enough, but, uh, we'll see. <laughs> ah, okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, look at us go. All right, we're going to do it again. Uh, boom. Whoa. Whoo, there we go. 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm so ch I am so cheating. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I didn't even need to make bridges, I just needed to jump. Holy crap, they're huge. Can I pet them? They're- they look adorable. They're like... Giant cattle, but like... They're dinosaurs. Oh dear. Rain comes down so suddenly- Whoop. Rain comes down so suddenly here, I hate it. The Dawn Dawns don't seem to mind though. Oh my, you must have come quite a long way. This is the sanctuary for Dondons, the new animal species discovered by Zelda. Dondons are quite precious, as we've only found five of their kind in the wild. Please be gentle if you touch them. They might look intimidating, but you've got nothing to worry about. They're a good-natured sort. When the princess came to research the Dondons, they used to go tromping around for her wherever she went. I think they're actually quite fond of us two-legged folk. That reminds me. Did you hear that rumor about Zelda being seen riding a beast? Well, I bet what people actually saw with her with the was her with the Don Don back when she established the sanctuary. It just goes to show how much rumors can take on a life of their own. Don Dons aren't beastly, they're adorable. Oh, I can't take your stuff. <laughs> are these your life savings? These gems are a precious clue to understanding Don Don's lives and habits. One day, some luminous stones I had picked up fell out of my bag. Before I knew it, a Don Don charged over and then... Chomp! It gobbled the luminous stones right up. These animals show no interest in food, and then luminous stones, of all things, sparked their hunger. I was shocked. After a while, we found gems on the ground here where the Don Don grazed. Those are the gems. Where they came from remains a little uncertain. I think they pooped them out. <laughs> but I think the Don Don created them after eating the luminous stones. If that's the case, I might learn more about the nature by studying those, so please, don't take them. Uh, can I give you some, by any chance? Yeah, let me, uh, I have some luminous stones. Does it want it? Oh, it's eating it. Oh, look at it. It's eating it. It actually ate it. Holy shit. Doesn't even look like I can even ride on one. They're actually so cute. Well, I, I fed them all luminous stones. Yeah, I guess there's nothing else of significance to these animals. They are very mysterious. This is like, this is like the most gentle section in Hyrule I have ever visited. And there's a Lizalfos nearby. Now, I wouldn't want it to harm the little... The little gentle creatures. Oh, there you are. Okay, so it is tomatoes. Thanks for being so patient. What do you think? They're tasty looking, aren't they? I was happy to tend them for you, Professor Link. It is all the same to me that what you do with the produce we grow here. And if you want to grow something else, let me know. Yeah, we got some gr uh, we got some tomatoes. So how many did we get from that garden? Oh, 
Oh yeah, we can pick them off. Okay. It seems like there was no more than like 20. So I'll just take the crops from you and then see what we can grow next. Uh, let's see. We we can do watermelons. We can do pumpkins, Hylian rice. Oh, yeah, the hardy radishes. Didn't she say, like, it was going to take a little bit longer to do those ones? All right, sure. Have at it. All right, so that quest is complete. A uh, new champion's tunic. According to Zelda, a new improved champion's tunic is hidden in the throne room. We're going to have to do that at the end. Gloomborn illness. Uh, sick after exposure to gloom. Lasley has been experimenting with different ingredients to make a porridge that counteracts gloom sickness. Wait... That's right, the stone slabs. Yeah, what were they about? I think it's this. Yeah, a trip through history. We have to go through all four of these rings and take pictures of them. As a matter of fact, didn't I take pictures of them? Yeah, I did. I just don't know the exact locations I did those. So, we're gonna have to fly around and find them. I know there's one here. This giant ring here, so I'm just gonna... ...park my hovercraft here. Yeah, here it is. We're just gonna... ...take this. Oh, here we go. We'll take a picture of this. I don't know if we want to give a read on this. Uh, wind, flame, water, and lightning, and time. Light, who holds the power? Secret stone. Great might display secret stones. Alright, cool. I think that also just leaves the ring structure on top of that huge mountain. Did they actually pick up a bit of the gloom and put it in a cage? What the fuck? I had never seen that. Given its location near the edge of the chasm, researching this ruin involves some level of inherent danger. So as our resident gloom experts, I volunteer to head up this operation. As with the other ring ruins, our investigation turned up a stone slab etched with Zonai writing. Some of the villagers who came to help clear the rubble came into contact with the gloom. One still hasn't recovered. All of the herbs effective against gloom have been used up tending to the wounded of Lookout Landing. The herb in question was a yellow plant. I have stumbled upon in my previous research, very likely a new species. Given how it is, or dif given how difficult it is to procure, I have been working tirelessly to develop some sort of alternative cure. Would that be the soup? Oh, you know what? What if that yellow plant is the thing for the porridge? Oh, could be. I yeah, I thought maybe a dark clump would work. Since that is an ingredient for gloom resistance. But I think in, I think they need like an actual cure. Alright, so we're going to fly up to this structure. Oh. Really? They actually have it written in these notes. Oh my god, are you serious? They... 
So, I guess they didn't actually find the fourth slab. They actually... Well, they did find it. They actually wrote it down. But it took me forever to find that slab so that I can take a picture of it. But I think what I actually needed to do was read it. And then I can tell... <clears throat> then I can tell the person... ...about those slabs. And I think what I just jumped off from is a map of the, uh... ...the slab lo- uh... Yeah, the slab locations. My god, it took me forever to find all four of them. Here, let me talk to you. Jesus, Murphy, it took me forever to find the fourth one. It was so easy finding the other three. Alright. Shows about the Demon King, yeah. Wind, fire, water, and lightning, as well as time and light. Actually, that aren't those aren't those all like the six sages? Yep, it was all written in the book too. In this ancient battle, the king and all the sages fought the demon king, but they couldn't defeat him. So they tried to leave a they tried to leave a glimmer of hope beyond, uh, behind for the people of the future for us. That's really something, huh? You don't think the upheaval is some kind of sign of the Demon King's resurrection, do you? It can't be. I must be overthinking things. If you look at all these slab messages together, don't they sort of read like one single message? You don't think, could the rest of the message be on a slab in the floating ring ruin? But why? Oh, this is impossible. Trying to figure this stuff out is making my head hurt. From one sightseer to another, I'd like to reward you with one of my personal favorite travel necessities. Thunderwing butterflies. Alright, so that's that quest done. I still have yet to figure out how to get to that floating ring. Without getting caught, but uh... Like this idiot. Uh, everyone is strictly forbidden. If that implies to an archaeologist like me, it certainly applies to an amateur. Hmm. I honestly feel like I need to have a talk with either Paya or Toro about that. As soon as I get this firefly thing done, I also want to go and, uh... ...find that giant white stallion. I, I didn't think it was actually that hard to go and find ten... ...sunset fireflies. Most of them are from this guy if you go to the stable here. He only gives... He only gives out like three of them. So, I guess you have to at least go to him like four times or three times if you find one, luckily. And ten should do it. Ten should do. You have them? With your fireflies and some I've also collected, I can attract even more fireflies and then I can make the glowiest of glowing trees. Um, while you're helping, can you do me one more favor? This will work once, or this will only work once the fireflies start glowing. So I'd like you to bring Haiti to this spot once night falls. Oh, and I want it to be a big surprise. You'll give it away if you say I'm working on this. Oh boy. So wait, where's Haiti? Is she also in the stable? Oh yeah, this is her. That glowing tree. Okay. So let's uh let's change it to nighttime. And then see what happens. Th this is the second time we have to wait until night at this stable, huh? Really did it have to rain? Are you <laughs> are you kidding me? Honestly, I guess I could have just done that a few minutes ago. 
I could have just slept the night away until it, w it wasn't raining. All right. You want to go outside? What's this all about? Come here. Go all the way to this tree. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, I can even see the the burnt marks that she put on this tree. Right here? Huh? She must have spent a whole lifetime collecting those fireflies. Holy shit. That was so pretty. I saw the best glowing tree ever. Felt like Christmas. It felt like Christmas in that tree. Ah, happy. Did you hear that? Yep. Finally happy. What a relief. I knew there was a bright smile in there somewhere. Good for Haiti. But it's going to take more than that to keep her smiling. I need to do what I can to make sure that happens. She's going back to the stable trotters. You help me out with all sorts of stuff so you can have this if you want it. A big hearty truffle. All right. We finally got the whole band back together. So now we can head over to the other stable. Uh, It was over here. Huh, we finally got the band back together, and now we can get the last great fairy so that we can fully upgrade our armor and maybe get killed by some snoo snoo. <laughs> oh, you mean snoo snoo. <laughs> How is it that that episode and also the all right, it's Saturday night. I have no date. A two liter ball of Shasta and my all-rush mixtape. Let's rock. How is it that, like, some of those that I remember off the charts? When I heard this on Twitter, I thought it was the most beautiful shit I've ever heard. Of a, like, recognition to Lon Lon Ranch. I'm pretty sure it's mostly for all the stables in this, in this game, but, like, I think this one takes the cake. I mean, listen to this! Piper's here! Our flautiste Piper has made his triumphant return! Oh, it's a he. Oh, I didn't even see that. Who knew how smitten Piper really was? Not I, affairs to the, of the heart are something I've yet to experience firsthand. Well, anyway, the return of Piper's delightful flute was, or the return of Piper's delightful flute has revitalized the stable trotters. We're ready to make some music. Every member is essential of our signature sound. Together, we are not just the Stable Trotters. In my heart, we'll always be... The Stable Gallopers. You've done so much for us, I hardly know where to begin. Let me start with this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! That's five thank yous from the five of us. Attention everyone! This is the new start for the Stable Trotters. May our performances let the great fairies know. All travelers. No, oh, let everyone in the world be awash in sweet, soothing music. But I'd better save some energy for the performance and not fritter it all away on chatting. By the way, I remember you. Yeah, the great fairy Kaiza. 
Is it Kaiser or Kaisa? She's all the way up there. The road has been blocked by some rocks that stumbled out of the sky. I thought maybe we could drive over it, and we did make it about halfway. But the horse or the rubble is just too much trouble. No horses can get past it, and our little jaunt took its toll. Alas. Poor Breezer. The indispensable sixth member of our trope has broken down yet again. Our Breezer has been with us through thick and thin. Without it, our hearts won't be in our performance. I'm thankful Piper has returned. But I'm so worried about the great fairy that I just can't lead the players with my usual flair. Hmm. So how are we going to do that? <laughs> can we like, I don't know, I don't know if it's possible, but can we like fly there? I don't know if that's possible. I think, hang on. I'm going to do something silly. Since I did it with a hovercraft, maybe I can use it on this thing. 